What's up everybody? Tywin here again, leaving off where we left off. Or picking up where we left off after the first let's play. Just defeated those first three enemies. Now we're walking uh, across the top of the train. Ran into some landmines here, some bombs. Uh, which we have to try and move through without stepping on, obviously. Now, I had some comments from some people through Twitter and uh, text message saying that this game looked boring. Uh, all you do for the I said all you did for the first let's play is walk around for 10 minutes and fight three enemies. Well, that is true. I just the first let's play we just walked around exploring and then we only fought three enemies. But, that was only half of the first chapter. This is the second half of that chapter. We'll get to fight a few more enemies, but this is not Infinity Blade. This is not Angry Birds. This is not something where it's non-stop action all the time. If you want a game that's always quick, um, with no story, you know, go play Angry Birds, or Where's My Water, or some shit like that. But if you want a console, quality game that has good graphics and an intriguing storyline then try this game out it's it has a console feel this reminds me of something that I would play on the 360 or the PS3 you're not gonna be fighting every minute or two like you do in Infinity Blade but you are this is an action RPG with a actual plot and an actual storyline that involves more than just fighting. So, if that's not for you, if that's not for you, then don't try it. But if you like good graphics, good gameplay, and a good storyline, then I definitely say pick this up. Now, that being said, I know that's not for everyone. Some want just quick gameplay uh, without having to think much about a story or having to do too much exploring. But if you want a console like experience like I said if you want the iPhone the iPad and the iPod touch to become legit gaming devices with hardcore console quality games then you should want more games like this anyway so as you saw I got to fight a hovercraft a hovercopter which brings out a gu uh, the gun uses the same fighting mechanics. You just tap for a quick shot, hold for a heavy, more powerful shot, and uh, it's the same basic mechanic as fighting the human enemies. So now we're seeing these three terrorists are being infected by what's known as the spiral virus, which we don't know much about at this point in the game. But it seems to turn them into some freaky, super-powered alien-type creature that we have to fight now. And they are a lot more powerful than they were before. And Ava's telling us the energy levels are extremely high and we must be careful. So here's where the simple uh, fighting mechanics kind of become a little more complex because you can't just tap, tap, tap and be able to fight these guys and win. You need to, you need to do auto block and auto block is done by not attacking. If you're not attacking then the character will auto block the attacks. You also need to dodge, which I don't do right there, and I get smoked by the yellow glowing thing. So we're going to try again here and try a different strategy. I, uh, I thought I could just kind of overpower them with combos and keep attacking them, but because they are so strong and they gang up on you, that strategy was not feasible. So we're going we're gonna to fight them again. 
and see if we can fare a little better. I'll just show you quick the leveling up. The game is default auto leveling, which means it will level up how it sees fit, basically. You can switch it to manual and choose what uh, attributes, attack, defense, stamina, close range, middle range, long range, what attributes you want to devote your experience to. Or you can do a balanced approach, which puts a little bit in everything. Um, I want to keep it on auto leveling for now, but I'll probably change it to manual later so I can kind of customize my character to better suit my fighting style or whatever. So, here we go again. We're gonna see if we can fare better against these guys than we did last time. I'm gonna use more defensive moves, which if you tap on your character and hold, he will do a defensive blast. And also dodges, which is you tap the ground, tap twice on the ground, you'll run there to do a little uh, evasion maneuver. And as you see, the longer that you hold the defensive move, the more power it does, the more damage you'll do. And see, you can tap on the ground twice quickly to uh, run to that spot and try to avoid some attacks, which I'm gonna have to do here because they were taking me out. So I'm gonna run away a little bit. Then I'm gonna use a defensive blast on them to try not to knock them away so I can get some breathing room. Now the defensive blast doesn't do a whole lot of damage but it does buy you some time where they aren't ganging up on you and you can try to isolate them a little bit and just take one out at a time through your normal combos. So there are there's a little bit more strategy involved than it might see at first. Um, the controls are very simple but executing them correctly and finding the best ways to win uh, are a little more complex than just uh, tapping repeatedly. It's not really a, a button master, although some might at first glance think it is. It's a lot more deep than just uh, mashing the screen until everyone's dead. Because if you just do that, you're gonna get smoked like I did during the first round against those guys. So, that was the end of the first chapter. And I will be bringing you chapter two here very soon. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and leave any comments below. What, you th what do you think about this game? Um, what do you think about the, the style? And uh, let me know. Follow me on Twitter if you want. And until next time.